Hi Stampers, Rose Grunewald here coming at you from my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you how to make this clean and simple, soft color, white on white uh, card that I made for the International Project Highlights Blog Hop with the theme of love. Let's get started right away. This card is featuring the Sunshine Wishes die set, and I also use some stamps from the Sunshine Sayings kit. Hopefully we don't have too much glare here. This uh, stamp set has a lot of great sayings that complement these dies. I'm just gonna open this up and show you. Um, for my project, I'm using the heart die and then the word love. So um, this heart is just a die like this and the word love to save some time so you don't have to run me, watch me run this through the big shot. I've already die cut those pieces here and I die cut the heart from a piece, uh, a scrap of peekaboo peach uh, card stock and then for the word love. I used my wood grain, let's get you a sample here, my wood grain, what's this stuff called? Wood Textures Designer Series Paper Stack. And this is my favorite designer series paper that Stampin' Up! has released. Um, all sorts of different colors from bold and dark and you know, really rustic looking, barn board, distressed wood looking, to kind of lighter, softer colors, and even some natural uh, tree rings. I chose the lighter uh, wood grain, uh, these pieces here, uh, to cut out my love die cut. Now, the other product I used on this card was the Simple Stripes Embossing Folder. And I want to give you a little tip with this embossing folder. I've already embossed my uh, card front layer. I used Whisper White Thick Cardstock with this embossing folder. And it worked really great for me. When I was using just the plain Whisper White, it was kind of cutting through and ripping my paper. So if you're having that issue, use the thick cardstock. It works great uh, with no problems at all. Okay, so this card is a tall card. So I've cut my cardstock four and a quarter across by 11 inches. So that's just a piece of cardstock cut in half the tall way. Now when you're doing tall cards, remember the grain of the paper runs this way. So you want to score this, and this is scored at five and a half inches. You wanna score on your fold line so that you get a nice crisp crease. I'm using liquid glue to adhere my uh, card front layer that's been embossed because the liquid glue just seems to really help uh, these pieces stick a little bit better to the card front. Okay. Also, the liquid glue helps you move it around when it isn't centered perfectly so you get it in the right spot. I'm going to make sure that is good and secure. Okay, the next thing I did on this card to add a splash of color is what I like to call ink splatters or marker flicking. Uh, I use my Stampin' Up! Stampin' Right marker. And for this technique, you'll want the broad tip end of your marker and you want to use the cap of your marker as kind of resistance against the tip. And you just flick some ink across your project. The first couple times you do it, you might have a hard time controlling where the ink goes. 
don't worry about that. You will learn as you go. Okay, I want to add here my heart. So I'm using my fine tip glue pen since this heart has some intricate pieces. Make sure I get some up here. And then we just glue that down. Okay, now I wanted to add some dimension and texture to my card. So I'm using my leaf punch and a piece of vellum to keep the soft color theme going. I wanna tuck this vellum up under my heart. So what I'm gonna do is just put a dab of this glue on here slide it under my heart layers like that. Now we're ready to adhere our love like the theme of our card. I'm using mini dimensionals because I want this word popped up and these spaces are really skinny on here. So I've cut a mini dimensional in half so that it won't show on the front of my card. Okay, we're gonna layer our word love. Now when I put the word love on here, I'm being careful to make sure I'm covering up any glue on that piece of vellum. Just so that people won't see that. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing I did was I've got a, we're going to take a scrap of Whisper White and use our Memento ink. I'm going to stamp out our sending sentiment and then this one says and hugs. So our card's going to say sending love and hugs. After these are stamped I'm just going to trim around these words. This is kind of a go-to technique for me lately. Uh, to add a little more layer and dimension to my cards is to snip around the words I'm stamping. And a lot of times just popping up those words really adds a lot to your card, it gives it that perfect touch. So I'll use a mini dimensional to adhere both of these pieces. Sending love and hugs. Oh, isn't that cute? Our card front is done. That's how simple that was. Um, the next thing I want to do is stamp on the inside of my card. I've got a special saying for this card for a friend of mine who's kind of going through a hard time right now. I'm using the Here For You stamp set for the inside, and the saying I'm using is, sorry I don't have something more profound or poetic or sentimental to say, 
but I just want you to know how very much I love and care about you. So I'm going to stamp this just on the inside of my card. Now I'll have all the layers measured, uh, the dimension for all the layers in my blog. So make sure you check that out to get all the measurements. My blog is uh, www.countrycardsbyrose.com. And I am going to stamp that in the center near the top of my layer. And I want to bring in just a little splash of the peekaboo peach from the front. So I'm putting this on a peekaboo peach layer is going to go behind this. And I'm going to use this. Let's see, I think I need the next bigger block size. Yep, that'll be perfect. This looks like kind of a watercolor wash um, stamp. So I want this to be subtle behind our words. So I'm going to stamp off before I stamp it behind my saying, just like that. And I want to be able to write a message in here. So when I do that, I typically use my snail adhesive to get my layers together so that I don't have any lumpy glue underneath it when I'm writing in my card. Because I'm just going to send her a little note when I send this out. Oops. Oh my gosh. See, I'm not very good at getting my layers perfect. What I try to do when I am doing this is make sure that my sides and my tops are the same width before I push everything down to adhere it. That's pretty good. And then we're going to this on the inside. There we go. And our card is done. Cute, huh? If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Make sure, too, that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I plan to do a lot more videos, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Also, if you enjoy watching me stamp, make sure you like my Facebook page, Country Cards by Rose. Every Wednesday evening, I go live at 7 o'clock uh, Central Time, and you can check out new projects there. So thanks so much for stopping by, and have a great rest of your day.